is this the best flutter package to ever exist hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we'll be checking out a package that i found very useful and the name of the package is nb utils which i guess utils stand for utilities and this package can do many things it's just built to make life easy for you it can do many things like page routing showing snack bars showing toast and don't get me wrong this is not just like get x because this tip preserves the context of your flutter app and without wasting time if you are new you can subscribe to the channel and let's get started so first of all you have to install the mb utils in your postpec.yaml file which i have done where is it which i have done right here also in your build.gradle file change your minimum sdk to 21 i think that's just the minimum sdk that the package can work with and yeah let's look at some functionalities first of all let's try to show a simple toast let's go to my home page we have we have a floating action button Floating action button. Thank God for Control Z. Floating action button. Floating action button. And our on press will be showing a simple toast. Okay, and if I should click the floating action button now, you can see the toast right here. You can see this is just so easy to make. You just need to put in the toast here and import the package. Also, one thing I enjoy about this is that it can help you restart your app. We won't be going into that this time. Let's try some other things. Let's try to launch a page. I've created a new page right here called second page let's try to go to that second page so i'll have ink work but let me just let me just have an elevated button right here You can see right here we still have our context not like get text so if i should click here right now it goes to the second page and we have a back button to go back what if you want animation when you go to the second page page So we have page route animation and I'll be using the page route animation dot rotate right here. And if I should click this and see how it's rotating in and rotating out. Also, if you want to remove all the previous pages, you can just have So if we set the is new tax to true, it will remove all the previous pages from from the screen or from the app. If I should click here now, you can see we don't have any back button to go back again. Let me restart my app. Also, the feature I wanted to show you: this package can actually help you to restart your app. Let's see. To restart our app, we need to wrap our material up 
video restarts up widgets. And here I'll wrap my material up with the restart up widget to use to restart our app. Let me go to the second page so that we'll be able to see the way it is restarting the app. And I'll have a floating action button right here too. Floating action button. And in our unpressed, we'll have restart up widgets. Is blocking us. Dots in it. Okay, cool. Nice. All right, nice. So I have to restart my app again. So these changes will take place. And if I should click here right now, it takes us to the new page. But if I should click the floating action button it actually restart the app and takes us back to the home page we can see this if you actually want to go back to the previous page without having to restart the app we can use the finish function let's write that finish and the reason why it's not going back is because here we have set it to we have set the is new task to true so there's no previous page to return to so let me restart my app so if i should click here right now and press here you can see it's actually going back to the previous page let's look at other things this package can actually do there's one i love the read more text i'm writing a bunch of jargons because i don't want to waste our time watching this video so let me actually make this a read more text And then if I should save this now, we see the text here. By default, the length of the text is supposed to be 240, but we can change that. Let, let me set it to 10 so we can see the read more button. Or I'll set it to 5. Yeah, so this is our text and this is the read more if you click on the read more it will expand the text and you can click on read, read less to reduce the text also one last thing before i round up this video there is a way to also also show dialogues there are different type of dialogues you can show and i'll be showing you one example for this elevated button let's try to show a confirmation dialogue so we have the adaptive dialog, we have the confirm dialog, we have the custom confirm dialog. You can make your dialog custom. So I'll be showing the confirm dialog right here. And the title will be let's see. Do you want to delete your account? Do you want to delete your account? And 
in the dialog actually we have the positive text the negative text yes or no and on accept which is when you click the positive text it should perform or it should fire a function so if i should click here right now you can see our confirm dialog do you want to delete your account yes or no so i'll click no or i'll click yes and to pop up the dialog so i hope you enjoyed this video there are other functions or the other uses of the package we have the toast we have the add keyboard after build we have you can go through the package and see the other things you can use in the package to so make your teaming easier you can use your shared preference you can actually check here and you see all the packages that are being used here the connectivity plus the flutter tools http and shared preference if you enjoyed this kindly of subscribe to the channel also like this video and the question still stands is this the best flutter package we have right now thanks for watching